Haters hate me, but I'm still gonna blow and send it. Oh, that's better. Hi, viewers, it's Mel with Movies here today, and today we're going to be giving the top five reasons why the Lent Doctor is. My favourite doctor. Copyright Donut Steal Who It Is. Number five. The Day of the Doctor. Awkward silence in five, four, three, two, one. I know what you're thinking. Claire! Day of the Doctor's an episode, not an aspect of the 11th Doctor. Believe me, I know that. But this episode fueled my love for the 11th Doctor more than anything. And with all the funny stuff he does in this, you just... <laughs> You just think he's a sweetheart, and uh, he's, he's, Matt Smith did a great job in this episode, and he boosted my love for the Lemp Doctor up even more. Number four, his fashion. Okay. <sighs> the Eleven Doctor just makes you laugh with his fashion so much. Like, first it was the bow tie, and we're all like, Hey, nice bow ties. So you, your doctor's gonna be a doctor of bow ties. Then, in the finale episode of season five, he picks up a fez. <laughs> and he looks awesome with it. And then there's that funny scene in the Day of the Doctor where the Tenth Doctor and the Seventh Doctor put their glasses on and go, "Oh, lovely!" That always makes me laugh. All through the series, you have funny gags with Matt Smith doing goofy stuff on. I love bow ties now. Bow ties are cool. Oh, uh, it's a face. I wear fezes now. Fezes are cool. Or Oh, oh, lovely! <laughs> anyway, and I also forgot to mention that I'm not using clips. I'm using pictures because last time I made a video with clips and it got taken down off of YouTube literally quite a few hours ago. Yeah, I know. Number three. His funny catchphrases. From Geronimo to when the doctor was to come along, puns. Any word the eleventh doctor says will always beam a smile on your face. And every episode I watch. It certainly beams a smile on my face. <laughs> Makes me happy. Number two, number two, his optimism. Okay. When Peter Capaldi's era started, I was really sad because you know what faded away? The light-hearted tone of optimism. I will miss it forever. <laughs> it's just every episode you came to with the Eleventh Doctor, he had that bright, optimistic personality that always cheered you up. Literally, it did, and I miss seeing that on screen. And 
That's why the eleventh doctor did mean a lot to me. But this is the number one reason. This is the number one reason why he meant a lot to me. And it's pretty obvious, guys. You've seen this coming. And my number one reason is... Oh! We have very similar personalities. Awkward silence in five, four, three, two, one. Ask my friends, any of them, well, that's if you know me, I am very, very crazy when I'm outside school. Just crazy, optimistic, enthusiastic, and hopeful. And it's basically who I am, and when I see him on screen in a lot of episodes, well, when I saw him, he reminded me of me. I could relate to him a lot, and I feel like that's how I betray the Doctor as well. Hashtag sign me up for the dog to be able to see when I'm older. No, just kidding. See, it, it just his personality in everything. I am very bubbly, and I do spark up home sometimes, and annoy home. Like the Lemons Doctor does sometimes. <laughs> and it just always makes me happy watching every single Lemons Doctor episode. So yeah, those are my top ten reasons. Five. Get your crap girl. Five reasons why the Lemons Doctor is my favourite Doctor. And this has been Mal's Movies. Till next time, bye! Wait, you didn't think this was the end of the video, did you? It's last week's episode of Doctor Who, why you want a towel? <laughs> <sighs> if only... If only I could live those days again, where me and Emma's pro skill were together. And no one bullied me because we were both great and we had great chemistry. I needed you. Why couldn't you just stay? Oh, I wish. He would have helped me when I was going through this difficult time with people. Come